See Cedric here, I just wanted to come and share with you all what the next class is. It's called Encapsulate the Light. Now in the first class that we did just uh, this Sunday, we went over the core foundational practices of alchemy and high magic to transform and evolve all of the elemental makeups of you. The fire, the air, the water, the earth, and your spirit. We evolved all parts, and we've brought this new light into the mind, body, spirit, subconscious, conscious, and superconscious being of you. So now this evolution is taking place. The more you practice these rituals, the more it grows, the more it evolves, the more it cements. Now, because of all that growth and that evolution is, is transpiring, you want a way to hold on to and marinate that magic that you've now done. So this is when the encapsulate the light comes in. To encapsulate the light, we combine both sacred geometric forms and divine names that will imbue and ingrain the sacred geometry within you to provide balance, equilibrium, and harmony, right? And so when you're doing this ritual and you're creating this sphere of divine light around you, again, it's marinating any magic or spiritual practices you do, any intention you're really setting that's positive, like affirmations, uh, even dream work, uh, if you're doing mantras, chakra work, mudras, rudras, whatever it is you're doing, encapsulating the light around you helps to build and cement that growth so much faster, right? And so much more effectively, right? Another purpose for this ritual is a very powerful in both invisibility, cloaking, and protection ritual. Way back when the old magicians of um, they would they would go into some very kind of rough energetically rough energetic places, right? Maybe uh, to do a house clearing, right? And you know the energy is real static, real whatever, right? And you need a serious way to protect and guard yourself. Well, they would use this ritual or another variation of it to encapsulate their auric field and to allow any disharmonious, any static energies just breathe off the auric field so it does not affect or go into the chakras, right? So this ritual, again, it shields you. Another thing it does is cloak and makes you invisible to those who aren't looking for you or those who do not know you are there. So what this means is if, someone, if you're in the grocery store and someone's not really looking for you, you're just kind of passing them by, they won't notice you, they won't see you. Of course, you have it to give it this intention if you will it, but again, it acts as a very nice ritual, especially as your light grows and builds on the astral plane. You want to be attracting only good and beneficial um, other intelligences. So to cast like the light in this way improves upon that. Now, another reason to do this is, again, with all of the confusion that's out there, the this ritual we're doing is going to help to bring peace to others in such a profound way. On a spiritual, soulful level, it brings peace, right? Which, I get chills, which right now, we are in a year of six. Six is about harmony, peace, things coming down to earth, right? So peace is what we need right now, 2022, right? And so you can use this ritual on loved ones, friends, family, places, even events remotely to bring peace to your loved ones, peace to your family and harmony, right? So this ritual has many different uses to encapsulate and marinate any magic you're doing, to cloak you from and, and make you invisible to any malevolent force or any static energy, to bring a shield of very strong universal protection around you. And again, it just builds and ingrains your light. And I'll also be doing an entombment on each initiate that shows up um, this uh, for the next class. An entombment where I'm embedding in these sacred symbols deep into the aura and deep into the psyche. So it helps that magic just go in even more, similar to a Reiki entombment in that way. Now, if you have any questions, I'll be doing my best to answer all of them in the comment section on Facebook. The class will be the last Sunday of this month, so not the next one, but the one after that. And it's going to be 5 p.m. The exchange is 22. And yeah, again, if you have any questions, I'm here. I love to talk about it. I love to share it. All right. Well, may you walk in your peace and may your earth walk be harmonious. Thanks for watching.